Hey guys, what are we down here? FitPro Health Clinics, 109 Princess Street. Uh, we're going to be going on through a little bit more about bead blockers today. So this is beta blockers part two, whatever, in our series of how your medicines work. Um, got a few things written down today because it's pretty uh, full on stuff. So let me just quickly jump onto something about exercise and beta blockers. Okay, so that's our topic for today. Beta blockers, how they affect you in exercise. So, yes, it does affect you. It's going to impact on, as you recall from our little equation, it's going to impact on your heart rate, i.e. reduce your heart rate, and the amount of blood pumping out um, at each contraction of your heart, stroke volume, okay? So it can impair your exercise tolerance, how well you handle the exercise. You may notice this um, in feelings like your arms and legs get really heavy uh, earlier, or um, you might notice it more. So this may not have happened before and now it does. Uh, you might feel tight chested. Uh, you may feel like there's a weight on your back. Um, just overall um, weight down, right? So that pretty much means that the blood is not getting around um, to all the places that it used to before um, as efficiently because we're on a beta blocker. All right. Doesn't mean that you shouldn't exercise. Still important to do exercises even when you are on and beta blocker therapy. So even when you're taking these medicines, it's still important to do exercise. In fact, a couple of studies, most most of these studies have shown that um, it is beneficial for you because um, one of the side effects they say of taking beta blockers is it can mess up your uh, lipoprotein um, kind of you know those lipoproteins are the things that carry around your cholesterol in the blood. LDLs, HDLs, you've probably heard of those. Um, it can mess up with those, right? So exercise helps to offset that side effect. All right, so the other thing to remember is that now that we know that it reduces your heart rate is that you should probably reduce your target training heart rate if you, for example, have been training a lot of times with a um, heart monitor. You're noticing now, hey, this is really starting to affect it. That's probably why. Um, what's the key thing for that is if you know what your resting heart rate was before you started um, beta blocker stuff, and then you took your resting heart rate again after starting on beta blockers, there might there's probably going to be a drop. Okay, so say it was 20, drop in 20 beats per minute. That's kind of what you drop your training heart rate by as well. Okay, to start off with. Um, another way to measure intensity of your exercise. So um, to give you a new idea of how to do that is called a perceived rate of exertion scale. So say it was, okay, between one and 10, how does this exercise make you feel now? Okay, so and then there'll be uh, gradings along that. 10 would be, man, this is super hard, I can't do another one. Uh, one is, this is best cake, really easy. Okay, so I might ask you, okay, what's, how does it make you feel between one and 10? Um, yeah, that kind of, I guess, intensity scale, right? Again, you need, if you're not sure, talk to a professional, fitness professional, and they'll help you understand that a bit more, and even um, get you to understand exactly how that scale works and how you can use it yourself. Um, obviously, what beta blockers will do if you're exercising is make you feel tired faster. Okay, so you may feel really exhausted after doing something that before uh, didn't make you feel so tired. That's just part of taking this medicine. Um, other thing that's important to do is strength training when you're on anything for high blood pressure. Now, I know that sounds, oh, but doesn't training, strength training, put your blood pressure up? Yes, in the immediate um, time it does, i.e. during a session, it will put your, and, and, and during an actual physical lift, it will put your blood pressure up, as it does for everyone. However, the effect of doing strength training sessions overall is that it will help to reduce your blood pressure. So, good thing to do. Uh, what else have we got here? That's pretty much it. Um, the kind of feelings or side effects or I guess feelings you'll notice is that whole heavy arms and legs for a start. Feeling like there's a weight on your back or feeling tight chested. They're probably the main uh, signs or kind of things to watch out for or to help you understand that the beta block is having an impact on your exercise. And that's fine, you just need to be aware of it and know how to work with it. 
So remember also when you're reducing that heart rate and your resting heart rate, the amount by the amount by which that drop is probably the amount by which you want to drop your training heart rate. Okay, so don't expect it, your training heart rate to get up to what it used to before um, taking beta blockers because obviously they're going to impact on it now and you're going to expect, or you should expect it to be lower than it used to be. Also, you're probably going to need to expect to be a bit tired earlier in the piece or uh, sooner than you normally would be as a result of taking a beta blocker. Okay? That's pretty much it. For Um, I'm going to show you now a couple of exercises you can do. Really simple. You don't have to go anywhere and do anything with it. You can do it at home. Right? First thing, squats. For the legs, so pretty simple. Let me just back up and show you. Right, really easy. If you want to make that, the idea is that push your bum out as far as you can. Keep your nice curve in that lower back. Have your knees going over your toes. All right in line with your toes, don't let them come too far forward, past your toes, sit back, right, if you need to grab something else, you might grab a bit of weight, and keep doing it, doesn't have to be a plate, could be a kid, could be whatever you can find around, bag, whatever, bag, concrete, bag, sand, anything you find, um, so that's doing something for the legs, Another thing you could do is those lungy ones, back it up. Lunge, okay, probably didn't see that, but that's what it is. Um, other things you can do is pulling, anything that's going to make you do that. So we'll swivel around, see that bit of rope up there. Check this out. You can make something at home. Cool. Pulling, pulling. So that's pretty cool. The further I move, move my feet towards that wall, or the um, underneath that rope, the harder it'll get. There's also other pulling stuff like that one over there. Behind me, that lat pull down. Give you a quick demo. Lat pull, the reverse grip. The other clips, bring out wider. Pretty easy. Okay, so anything you can pull on. If you don't have a lat pull down, doesn't matter. You can use, like I say, a bit of rope. Does it? It's all good. Use a bit of rope and do it. Um, pull up against someone, lie down on the floor, pull on something to get you up. Anything. The other thing is push. Back of the couch. Kitchen table, kitchen bench, um, seat, floor, whatever. The idea is that you're doing a push movement. Keep your body long and lean, as straight as you can. And what you're doing is using your chest muscles, your muscles here, chest, back of your arm, to push yourself up. Okay? Uh, quick demo. I'll do it on the seat here. Whatever, you can find anything. Move your hands around, changes it up a little bit. Okay, so that's pretty much the few main things that you need to do for strength training. You need to do something with your legs, something with pulling, something with pushing. Cool. That's us for today. Bead blockers and exercise. Um, pretty important to remember, you're going to find that your tolerance or your you're going to find that you're not able to do as much as you used to be able to, but don't stop doing anything. It's important to carry on doing something. Okay, particularly strength training is important. Um, keep up the exercise when you are on beta blockers. It's important. If you have any questions, contact your local fitness professional or your GP. As long as your GP does exercise and is aware um, of the latest research and things like that, then you can talk to them about it. Um, other than that, I'll be back on tomorrow. We're going to talk about beta blockers and nutrition. Uh, what kind of foods are good for high blood pressure, what works, what doesn't, um, stuff like that. Sweet, see you guys later.